Hi, I'm Jim Duthie, a New Zealand urologist based out of Wellington Public Hospital and Wakefield in Wellington and Bay Urology in Tauranga. I'm a fellowship trained robotic surgeon through the Peter McCallum Cancer Institute, which is a high volume prostate cancer center in Melbourne. During my training, I performed over 100 robotic prostatectomies. The best treatment for prostate cancer for any individual man is one that effectively treats the cancer while risking minimal side effects. Many men prefer surgery as a one-stop treatment for their prostate cancer, but there are some potential risks associated with this, including incontinence and erectile dysfunction. Robotic surgery offers some advantages in terms of enhanced recovery and in the right hands, lower risk of incontinence and erectile dysfunction. But it's important to remember that the surgical robot is just a tool. The most important part of the system is still the surgeon and you're better off having an open radical prostatectomy by a suitably trained and experienced surgeon than a robotic prostatectomy by a surgeon with inadequate experience. A properly trained robotic surgeon can have incontinence rates lower than 2%, meaning fewer than 2% of men will need further treatment to reverse their incontinence in the future. Impotence is a more variable risk and depends not only on the man's age and pre-existing function, but whether the surgeon can preserve preferably two, but at least one of the neurovascular bundles on the prostate. With proper training, robotic surgeons can achieve this more efficiently, but it's important to talk to your surgeon about your individual risk of erectile dysfunction and the rehabilitation process required after surgery. Robotic surgery is still surgery, and there are other risks that are less common that your surgeon will discuss with you. It's important to note that in New Zealand at the time of recording, there are no surgical robots available through the public system. And if you are uninsured, robotic surgery can be expensive to fund. Surgery is not the best treatment for all men, and other medical conditions or personal preference may be reasons to pursue other treatment options.